kids really like our intro. They watched it together. No, it's not. Smile less. more. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's all less. Smile more. I really want some coffee, but I guess it's going to have to be iced coffee. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Yeah, I have so much to do today and I'm trying to stick within my time frame of which to do it. <laughs> I am continuing to try to be more diligent with my time, more efficient with my filming schedule. So that is the goal here. Dress this morning, and that is most certainly on the top of my to-do list these days because leggings are just not helping me to get life accomplished. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm feeling a little bit out of my league these days. Um, I have jumped fully into research and writing for our film and trying to work on content for this channel um, while still documenting our journey uh, moving forward in unschool and uh, producing our first film, trying to make them fit or make some type of sense so that we can develop a rhythm as I move forward towards our dreams and goals for our family. I have to admit, I'm feeling very much so out of my league. <laughs> I am. I can't really join the whole community of filmmakers on YouTube because a lot of that is dominated by people that are nowhere near being in my arena. Like I am just a homeschool mom or so much more than that. Um, not that being a mom is not enough though. Y'all know what I'm trying to say and it's, it's for me, being a mom carries so much more than just uh, the restraints or restrictions that people try to put on you. So yeah, I am a mom and feel very confident in that um, and also in all of the other pieces that make up who I am as a mom. I'm a business owner, I am a dreamer, I am a filmmaker. I am good at homeschool life and <laughs> I am still sharing um, a lot of that in our Patreon space because I for will forever have a homeschool mom heart. However, um, as we're jumping into uh, producing or making or writing or whatever we're doing for our films, um, I really am excited to learn new things and I'm excited to fall back in love with reading again and learn of it on a different level and I'm excited to jump into writing and learn of it on a different level so why not start by immersing ourselves in those spaces yeah I just want to teach the kids not to be confined by the labels that people put on them so that was a tangent but you know what I'm trying to say and I think I needed to do something a little bit fresh and different to help me just keep kind of pushing forward because I don't love talking about curriculum I don't love talking about schedules um, I try to address it because I know that that is um, one of those things that you know in the homeschool community we're curious about um, but I just haven't felt like I fit in the homeschool community lately. And not because I don't love it, but just because I feel like I haven't found a connecting piece that helps me to freely share what I want to share. And I think I found the connecting piece. And so I've been writing up a content list to try to add a few things to the mix in our channel that would allow me to have a bit more fun. For us, the curriculum question. <laughs> Uh, that is always a big deal in our homeschool community and it's always so hard for me to address because we build our own curriculum and we do so using any resource that I find. I don't care if it's a picture book, a non-fiction book, a television show or a movie or a conversation with a neighbor or a friend. Um, I use all sorts of things to build our curriculum. But I did find one area that I thought might be a really good fit 
for us in addressing the curriculum question and that is books we love books books just provide like a whole new area for us to let our curiosities just kind of go wild um so with that being said i've been extremely obsessed with the book community lately <laughs> Um, and feeling again a little bit out of my league but as I move forward in researching um, education and for our films books really provide that passport for me and for us to be able to go into these different realms of learning new things through books so um, I'm writing out a little list of book tube type of videos that we can join in on and have a little bit of fun to add to our homeschool journey, make it a little bit more pleasant and exciting because there was a lot of social media things that I do not like that it's important that I find the things that I do like and that um, I can be more of a, a part of without it being such a heavy burden. I don't know if any of that made sense, but I tried. So anyway, I have three edits that I completed yesterday that made me so happy because I feel like I'm starting to be a little bit on top of things, which is nice. So I have three edits that I need to finish. Answer comments, answer some emails. I am long overdue for answering emails. They are not my favorite, but I'm getting better. <laughs> It'll be nice to connect to you all. Um, so if you haven't received a reply from me yet, I'm sorry. I'm gonna handle that today, <laughs> okay? By the time you see this video, you'll probably have already seen quite a few um, of our bookish type of vlogs or videos, which is exciting. So hopefully it's going well. <laughs> and then I am going to work on some emails, figuring out how we are going to fund or address sponsorships or collaborations um, as far as our film is concerned is a whole thing and it's a whole new world for me so i've been heavy into all the research on funding your projects funding your independent films and things like that so i am going to have to give that a little bit of attention today and then we have a team meeting so we have a whole team because the falco family is a whole team and um we are just going to check in with our vision how things are going what our plans are for moving forward and i love having those little meetings um the kids are often included which is nice for them to be able to see that part of the dream yeah just really like pour into one another as team members so that's kind of what my plan is for today and I'm going to try to have that done in two hours or an hour and a half. I know that seems like a short period of time, but I'm, like I said, I'm really trying to work on being more efficient to make sure that I keep my priorities straight. So i um, trying to work on not letting so much of my business things bleed into our um, family life, but at the same time it is family life, but it's a whole thing but we're gonna work through it. <laughs> Our house is in complete disarray and I'm also well in over my head, feeling out of my league when it comes to um, getting things back in order. We have stripped down everything in the schoolroom to try to build it back up again. So that's a whole thing. I'm gonna do another video on that. So we have to try our best to work on completing that project, which is really exciting. But I'm not quite sure how it's going to pan out just yet. So we're going to work on that. But I will show you all my clips of um, things being completely out of order. But that's okay because things have to all come tumbling down sometimes before you can build them back up again. So that's what we're doing. Amen. <laughs> so I'm being very chatty. But I'm trying to make sure I cover everything. And I am going to go get to it. First things first is finishing up the edit for... The videos i did most of it last night but now i just have to finish up those final little touches so i'm gonna do that first and then jump into instagram comments and emails so let's go Done yet? I am. I'm all 
almost done and I feel really good about it. And I have two edits completely done and ready to be rendered and then I have one more that I need to add a little extra something to but I'm almost done. So are you still on schedule? I am. I'm like an hour off. <laughs> So not quite as efficient as I would like to have been, but I'm not too far off. And then I can move on to um, responding to my comments, answering emails. You gonna help me? You gonna help me answer emails? <laughs> yeah, be a collaborative effort. <laughs> It'll be a collaborative effort answering emails. I'm gonna have Savannah help me answer emails too. I think I have such a hard time answering emails because I wanna go into some like long drawn out explanation situation and I can't do that with every single email so but I'm going to not be so overwhelmed by it and just handle it and then I'll hand it over to you so you can go ahead and do your thing and get it on YouTube and scheduled because Brian handles all of that type of stuff for me I like finish that it and then he makes sure it's nice and rendered and uploaded um, and he's working. He's working on his um, descriptions. <laughs> they don't need. They don't need descriptions. Yes. Just watch it. No. <laughs> I but never read descriptions. You don't. If I watch a video, but no. You just watch do. it. No. Why? We need to get better at that. We need to get better at leaving good descriptions and leaving all of the links in the description box. Just watch so. it. <laughs> so yes, I'm almost done. Aren't you proud of me, Brian? I'm sticking to my schedule. Doing good. Finish strong. We're gonna take our little glass bowl out into the garden so Kendall can collect some of our cherry tomatoes that are right. You ready, bud? I've never seen this one before. It's really big. <laughs> Here you go. Also, we're kind of secretly but not secretly showing you a bit of our um, our bookshelf that's coming soon. Exciting! Let's go. This is our second time out here. They have been ripening so very fast. So. It's really big. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the big tomatoes. Look at all our tomatoes. They also, we can ready? see, have peppers oh, yeah. that are right yeah. in here. You see them? Oh, like, do they look like chili peppers? Yeah. They do look like chili peppers. <laughs> but there we go. They look good, Kendall. They are. <laughs> you are a master gardener. Am I, bud? <laughs> You're so sweet. You like the way I put this one with the stem on top of the two other ones? Oh yeah, for sure. They look beautiful. Like I think that candy. should be enough for now. Giant zucchini and more than 20 cherry tomatoes. Yep. One, two, three. They're picking tomatoes to give to our neighbors. Eight, nine, ten. That's perfect, look at that. <laughs> oh, they look beautiful. <laughs> Have y'all seen my garden lately? It's massive. They're having fun in the sun. I made it through the majority of the things that I wanted to get done, not in the time frame that I wanted to get them done though. But, but that's okay. So I am going to cozy into my corner, tucked into my room while the kids play outside in the sprinklers. Um, Brian's parents are over, so they're hanging out and um, doing some finishing touches to the homeschool room, the paint job, of which um, I will let you guess what color it is. <laughs> I will let you guess what color we actually painted. But um, the kids are playing in the back in the sprinklers so I can see them. And um, I am getting ready to get cozy with my weighted blanket and um, 
tend to these emails and these comments. So, I'm trying to make it a whole thing so that it doesn't overwhelm me or stress me out, all the comments, all the emails. Um, so, I'm thinking of like, I don't know, I should have made some tea, but I did make coffee instead. Um, yeah, I just need to stop stalling and go ahead and get to it. I'm excited to talk to you all. It's just that sometimes I want to get back to everybody. So that can overwhelm me from time to time. But I'm not going to let it do that. I'm just going to drink my coffee and carve out this time to get back to my internet friends. And of course, my battery is dying. That ain't no problem. <laughs> that ain't no problem. Um, I'm going to get it done anyway. still here <laughs> answering these emails and these comments <laughs> you know what's so hard about it I love connecting so much I really do but I don't like all the space that's in between um, that could be misconstrued I don't like that if I'm not able to get back to someone or if I miss the email or just all those other things that the idea that someone may feel like um, I've ignored them or I have may have missed an opportunity to encourage or acknowledge it's hard but I think that as I move along I'm just gonna have to deal with that because I know that I'm just one person and my main priorities are here um, at home so it's just hard but anyway I love I love the feeling that I get after I finish <laughs> answering emails because I just feel like you know just being able to connect to people on an opposite side of the world um, a lot of times is just such a beautiful thing so anyway I'm gonna wrap this up because my battery is dying but I just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with me today um, remember that life is so very full of lessons so our goal is to live and to learn and I'm gonna get back to these emails and try to make my way through um, a bit more of these comments and yeah we will see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.